Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting Radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody. How you doing? On this Thursday morning, it is the 21st day of December, four days away from Christmas, first day of winter, but you'll swear it'll feel more like spring today, tomorrow. Two to three more days of this before we take this dramatic Christmas weekend Arctic temperature plunge. I have the latest on the timing, and the models are now starting to agree. Plus, the front will bring in the rain. We'll have the latest timetable on the rain as well. Will there be another storm system later on Christmas week? Latest on that as well. So let's get you started this morning. A lot of good information on your Thursday morning weather briefing as winter begins. And with winter officially beginning at 1028 this morning Central Time, it's the shortest day of the year with 10 hours, 1 minute of uh, daylight compared to the longest day of the year, 14 hours, 15 minutes. So tomorrow, the days start getting longer. And on this first First day of winter, it's going to feel more like spring. A nice mild day. We're in between storm systems. I think we're in the upper 60s today. Maybe a little bit of fog early in the morning. A sun and cloud mix. Tonight's low 53. A little southerly breeze bringing in the warmer air at uh, 6 to 12 miles per hour. Tomorrow, we're in the 70s. I think we are dry uh, at least early in the day and maybe some showers later on in the day. But the big stuff, the big frontal system is still way off to the northwest. There it is at midnight with the front near the Mississippi River heading on eastward, so showers and storms could reach us first thing Saturday morning. Here's Saturday morning at 6 a.m., the front coming into southeast Alabama, or coming into northwest Alabama at that hour and heading southeast. The GFS Saturday at noon has the front between Montgomery and Troy with a lot of rain back behind it, and fortunately, the other global model, the European, uh, agrees on that position. We love it when the models agree, so we're pretty confident about this forecast. And then by Sunday morning at 6 a.m., the showers are exiting southeast Alabama, so now it looks like Sunday, Christmas Eve day will be a dry day, but we'll be in transition. The polar front goes through, then the Arctic front goes through, so that's two stages of colder air as we get closer to Christmas night, or Christmas day, I should say. Breezy and cold with temperatures only in the 40s, the breeze will make it seem colder, and the coldest night will be Christmas night into Tuesday morning. So we start out at 30 on Christmas morning, high around 47, but the winds will make it seem colder. 27 on Christmas night, so uh, there's your Christmas forecast. And by the way, do you remember last year? Wow, we had a record high of 82 last year, the hottest Christmas ever, breaking the record from 1987. You remember the record low, the pipe bursting Christmas, 5 degrees in 1983. Remember the snow in 2010? And how about the tornadoes? I remember all day covering tornadoes back in 2012 on Christmas. So here's the summary then. We're in the low 70s Friday and maybe maybe even Saturday. I've got upper 60s Saturday, but the best rain chances during the day Saturday at 80%. And then uh, maybe a leftover shower Sunday morning. We're in the 50s, then the 40s on Christmas Day, then down to 27 on Tuesday morning. This is later on Christmas week now. We're you know, looking towards Thursday night into Friday the, the 29th and more rain coming across the Gulf Coast. I love this graph from the European. It shows exactly what's going to happen. We're warm now, then the dramatic Christmas weekend Arctic plunge followed by uh, a cold week ahead. Friday through Sunday, a few showers in through here, and then another one late next week. Temperatures in the low 70s, according to the European, on Friday and Saturday, and I think that's plausible. Then it shows the stair step down as we dramatically drop Christmas weekend down to 45 for a high on Monday. It has us. The uh, GFS has us at 47 on Christmas Day after lower 70s on Saturday. And then it keeps us chilly right on through the end of this year and then through the early part of next year. This goes till January the 5th. Our weather app keeps you on top of all these dramatic weather changes, and there's going to be a lot of them. You want to get it on your phone today and your tablet and be ready for the changes. Go to the App Store. It's free. Just search Rich Thomas Weather. So that's it. That's all I have for you this morning. There'll be another video for you, of course, first thing tomorrow morning at 4.45 a.m. as I continue to keep you up to date on the dramatic changes and this dramatic Arctic plunge over the Christmas weekend. I'll be live on the radio this morning from 6 to 9 on News Talk 93.1. Greg is still away. He'll be back tomorrow, but we're holding down the fort uh, while Greg is gone. And uh, there'll be another video, as I mentioned, in the morning, plus your forecast whenever you want it across the dial on eight radio stations. Literally, that's the Blue Water family of stations. So let's see, twice an hour. That's like 256 times a day you get to check out my forecast. I hope you have a good one today. Happy first day of winter. Rich Thomas Weather.